back out to St. Petersburg, Florida. Mike Bordick standing by. Mike, when you look back at the game in the fifth inning, Wei and Chen had a 5-2 to two lead, and you had the pitch out of a bases-loaded jam. How much was that a key to this game? Well, it was huge because Wei and Chen uh, all of a sudden lost his fastball command in the middle part of this ball game. He was dominant early on, retiring 11 in a row, but found himself in a jam there. Gets uh, Casali on the high fastball to minimize a little bit of the damage here, but still keeping the fingers crossed. Dots a fastball to Sosa Jr., one of his best fastballs of the game, especially a clutch situation. Then you got to face Longoria. We can get a ground ball hit to Manny Machado. Might as well just make a right turn. Wei and Chen, nice job getting out of that jam there. Take a look at his pitch arsenal, 69% fastballs. He was on the fastball early, and he stayed with it. Maybe a little too much as uh, Longoria and Forsyth took him deep for back-to-back -back home runs as he tried to get back in the zone with the heater, and they took advantage of those mistakes. So, uh, But I think Wei and Chen threw a good ball game, unfortunately. Couldn't make it into the sixth inning. He'd been on a nice stretch of consecutive starts in a row. But uh, Wei and Chen battled back, picked himself out of some tough jams, and fortunately the Orioles able to hold on and come away with back-to-back -back wins and finish this road trip strong. Mike, you know, we've been looking for a little bit of offense for quite a while now, and today you're starting to see some things come back. Chris Davis is really starting to put that swing back together again where he gives you a little confidence, and Jones, almost everybody in the lineup today, you know, was, was swinging the bat pretty good. But then maybe that guy hitting in the third slot, maybe we ought to get rid of him. I don't know. He didn't get any hits today. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You don't want to do that. But, yeah, there were some big hits. Nice to see Nola Reimold come up with a clutch hit, that big double to uh, make the Orioles or give the Orioles that three spot in the first inning. So, yeah, positive sign offensively. Nice to see them getting back on track. Chris Davis has been red hot. J.J. Hardy as well. Mike, when you look back at this game, the bullpen, they pitched three and two-thirds, three walks and five strikeouts. How much of an impact was the bullpen on this victory? Well, the bullpen's been outstanding all year. I mean, unfortunate uh, little setback there when Darren O'Day took the loss and Chris Tillman's start the first game of this series. But the bullpen, you can really hang your hat. Uh, you get deep into the ball game. Darren O'Day's there. Brad Brock. Chaz Rose's been outstanding. Of course, Zach Britton has been phenomenal at the back end of this bullpen. Uh, great closer for this team. So, bullpen's been great. Once again, they rose to the occasion today. Uh, a lot of good things happening right now. There should be a better sense of optimism in the Orioles clubhouse as they go back home. Uh, it's going to be obviously a tough home stand taking on the Braves and the Tigers, but they play their best baseball there, and they're going to need to try to create some momentum as the next road trip they head off to the very tough West Coast. Mike, as always, we appreciate your comments. Look forward to seeing you when you get back to Baltimore. Of course.